Well, you know, basketball is, a, basketball is a game of runs, right? I just wanted to make sure that we didn't let the kid Brown get off. I mean, he's an amazing, amazing shooter. Um, just told the guys, relax, calm down. You know, they're going to make their run there. They're a good team. There's a reason why they 32 and 2 or 30, you know, 30 and 2. They're a good team. They're going to make runs. We just got to come down and do the same thing. So when they make their runs, kind of relax, call timeout, come back down, get a score, get a stop, get a score, get a stop, and kind of go from there. Back corner, Mike. Mike Wells, ESPN. I wanted to circle back to uh, when I asked your players about why the game's easy. Where, 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 did, where, where did that coaching mindset come from? Because not a lot of people prior to this weekend probably knew much about St. Peter's. So can you explain how your coaching mindset came into play to make it easy for your players? Well, you know, that's, you know, that's how I played, right? I, I played that way. You know, I, I played to give it 110% all the time. I tell my guys all the time, you give me 100%, I'm giving you 200%. You know, and that's just how it is. You know, I was a, a, a decent player. Right, I'm small, you know, people counting me out. So I had something to prove every time. So I, I coached that way. From when you played at Seton Hall, I was going to ask you, do you, did you have to remind your players or show them videos, hey, when I was at Seton Hall, this is how I played, and that's how I want you guys that had that kind of mindset too, is playing hard and grind all the time? No, you know what? I never make it about me. It's always about my players. I never talk about me, never. You know, these guys might come in and, oh, you did this, I heard this, I heard that, and I kind of downplay it. But my thing is this, it's a give and take thing, right? If you give me hard work on defense, I'll let you play on offense. That's it. You know, that's, that's us. Give me what I want on defense, offense, you guys can go out there. You, you don't come out the game from playing for me for making mistakes on offense. You come out the game for making mistakes on defense, and that's just how it is. Question in the middle, Mark. Hey, Sheen, Mark Canizaro from the New York Post. What are you most proud of right now of, of your group, would you say? What, what, what makes you feel the best? You know, I'm just proud that these guys get a chance to play on a different type of stage. You know, NCAA tournament is, what, is every kid's dream, right? Um, playing in the MAC is a great tournament, I mean, a great league. You know, we play on ESPN+. Plus. We don't get a lot of big TV games. So these guys get a chance to show their talent on the big stage. That's what I'm proud of. I'm proud that, you know, we could have, you know, arena – cheering for us, which other teams, right? Everybody want to cheer for the underdog. You know, these guys work so hard for this moment, so I'm just proud of them. We'll take two more questions for Coach. We have a question on Zoom. Please unmute, state your name and affiliation. David Melandra from Philly Sports Blitz. Coach, can you just talk about what, what this upcoming week is going to be like, especially dealing with the distraction of the Sweet 16 being in Philadelphia since you guys are in Jersey City, New Jersey? You know what? We have a good, um, like we have a good team. Every team need, needs a good team behind the scenes. You know, we got a good administration. Um, you know, to keep our guys level-headed and keep our guys hungry. I'm not worried about distractions because we've been dealing with COVID for two years and we've been having no no distractions. Uh, that, that I'm not worried about. Final question for Coach over here. Uh, Gary Graves, Associated Press, with Murray State's physicality. Uh, you all kind of kept your cool when they when they kept trying to muscle in. Uh, what what was the thing that you told them to really try to stay calm when when it seemed like they were trying to push you all around? No, I'm, I'm gonna say this. It's gonna come off a little crazy. I got guys from New Jersey and New York City. You think we scared of anything? You think we worried about guys trying to muscle us and tough us out? We do that. You know that's who we are. Like we are a very physical team. Our bodies probably don't look like it. But these guys play very hard and very physical. So that I wasn't worried about at all. You know, we've been playing against bigger teams out the whole, the, whole, the, the whole time. So them being a little bigger and stronger, it didn't phase us. When you got tough, hard-nosed kids, they, they ready to play. Thank you, Coach. Good luck next weekend. Thank you. Shaheen Holloway and his kids peacocking into the Sweet 16. Just the third 15 seed to do so. Joining Florida Gulf Coast in 2013 and Oral Roberts, who did it last season. St. Peter's, the Peacocks, going to play the winner of Texas and Purdue in Philadelphia in the Sweet 16. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.